Okay, I am Hello. This is the Costa Rican Pro Programs Volunteers. And today I'm here with Amanda. Uh, Amanda Summer, who has been on the teaching project for two weeks. Why did you choose the Costa Rican teaching project? Um, I chose the Costa Rican teaching project because I love working with kids. I have experience with it, working with kids and I thought wanted to travel, explore a different culture, but also at the same time wanted to help out in a school that needed me and also it's sunny and beautiful here and being from Canada it's really cold in the winter so I wanted to have some sunshine and a really nice like tropical kind of experience at the same time so I figured it was a good decision. Are you doing in, in the classes school? and which classes are you? Oh, okay I'm in your class for starters so I'm with grades three to six um, and in that class I'm helping out you guys, I'm helping you guys perfect your English because you guys clearly already know a lot. Um, we do, we've just done poetry, science, science experiments, all that kind of thing. Whereas in the morning I'm usually with Materno which is ages 2 to 4. So there I'm just introducing English to start. We're working with shapes and colors and we play lots of games and sing lots of songs. So they're very different. My day, my morning to my afternoon is very different. Yeah, I think that because in the older groups they maybe do like more work. Yeah, you guys do a lot more work, whereas in the younger groups we do a lot of coloring and pictures. And what has been your favorite part of that process? Mm, my favorite part of being here so far is just meeting all you guys and getting used to the school, getting used to, it's nice having a routine and knowing the part that you play in the school and also kind of in the community, you know, just getting uh, getting familiar with everything you're doing. It's a really nice feeling. Oh, and how, and if all that process that you have been, and how do you, that is like two types of things, your, your, where you go, like work and mm -hmm. your house. Yes. So how you find life in Puerto Jimenez? Oh, good question. Puerto Jimenez is a lovely little town. It's, um, it's everything I kind of expected a Costa Rican town to be. It's quite small, you kind of know everyone and you recognize people on the street, but in that sense it's really nice because it's easy to make friends and it's easy to get to know locals and kind of be involved in the community as well. And it's not like it's remote, but at the same time, like we went to Monte Carlo last week, there's a beautiful beach nearby. Um, and it's just, it's a great kind of place to have an experience like this. Because it's small, you can make friends, but at the same time you still, you're in a community like this school and it's awesome. And um, do you have any type tips for anyone to come out here? Any future volunteers? Yes, something like that. Yes, I say do it. Just do it, do it, do it. Because I was really nervous at first not knowing maybe what to expect from coming here and part of that freaked me out a bit. But I think that is the best part of it. Not knowing what to expect and getting here and realizing that it's just awesome. So I think if you're on the fence, definitely, definitely please do it. You'll, you won't regret it, I promise. <laughs> Okay, so this was um, Amanda Summer, and now we are going to a short break. Thank you, Amanda. Goodbye. Thank you, Miley.